Welcome to the global defense battle. The Panaka Multi-Barrel Rocket Launcher is an advanced rocket artillery system developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO in collaboration with the private sector. It was introduced to replace the aging BM-21 grad systems of Soviet origin. Panaka's development started in the late 1980s and culminated in its induction in 2000. Its primary role is area saturation, where it launches a barrage of rockets to neutralize enemy troop concentrations, bunkers, and supply depots. The Panaka system has evolved over time with its MK2 version featuring better range and accuracy. On the other hand, the A100E multi-barrel rocket launcher, deployed by Pakistan, is a Chinese origin system manufactured by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology. It was inducted into Pakistan's arsenal in the early 2000s to boost its long-range artillery firepower. It is based on the earlier WM80 model, which was also developed in China. Its development was guided by the need for advanced, long-range rocket systems to compete with similar systems deployed by neighboring countries. Pakistan's decision to acquire the A100E reflects its reliance on Chinese defense technology and the strategic partnership between the two nations. And today, we will compare these both launchers, India's Panaka versus Pakistan's A100E. So let's start. Talking about the design first, the Panaka features a robust design mounted on an 8 into 8 Tatra truck chassis, providing high mobility across various terrains. The system comprises two pods, each containing six launcher tubes, totaling 12 barrels. These tubes are made from E-glass epoxy composite materials, ensuring durability and reduced weight. The launcher vehicle is approximately 8 meters in length, 2.5 meters in width, and 3 meters in height, with a weight of around 22 tons. This configuration allows the Panaka to deliver rapid salvos of rockets, covering a large area effectively. On the other hand, the A100E, utilized by Pakistan and developed by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, is based on the Russian BM-30 Smirch design. It is mounted on a Wanshan WS2408 into 8 truck chassis, offering substantial mobility. The system features a single module with 10 300mm launch tubes arranged in two rows of five. The launcher vehicle measures approximately 12 meters in length, 3 meters in width, and 3.2 meters in height, with a weight of about 43 tons. This design enables it to launch a significant volume of firepower over extended ranges. These differences reflect the distinct design philosophies and operational requirements of the two systems. Talking about the caliber and performance, the Panaka system utilizes rockets with a caliber of 214 mm. This caliber allows for a balance between range and payload capacity. The standard Panaka MK1 rockets have a maximum range of 38 km, while the enhanced versions, such as the MK2, can reach up to 75 km. The system can launch a full salvo of 12 rockets in 44 seconds, providing rapid saturation of target areas. Factors influencing its rate of fire include the efficiency of the loading mechanism, the cooling time required between launches, and the stability of the launch platform. On the other hand, the A100E system fires rockets with a larger caliber of 300mm, enabling it to carry heavier warheads over greater distances. It boasts a maximum range of 100km, surpassing the standard range of the Panaka system. It can launch its 10 rockets in a rapid succession, though the exact time frame is not specified. The rate of fire is affected by similar factors as the Panaka, including loading efficiency, thermal management, and platform stability. Overall, the A100E's larger caliber and longer range provide it with a greater destructive capability per rocket. However, the Panaka's higher number of barrels allows it to deliver more rockets in a single salvo, potentially compensating for the individual rocket's lesser firepower. Talking about the level of automation, the Panaka system incorporates a high degree of automation in its loading and firing processes. The launcher is equipped with an automatic gun alignment and pointing system, allowing for rapid targeting without manual intervention. The fire control system is advanced, featuring a fire control computer that enables automated and precise launcher laying, rapid deployment, and relocation. It also supports data communication with fire support command and control systems via digital radios, integration with artillery meteorological systems, and displays battlefield information on a digital map. Reloading the Panaka system is facilitated by loader come replenishment vehicles, and while exact reloading times are not specified, the system is designed for quick turnaround to maintain continuous fire support. On the other hand, the A100E system also features significant automation. The combat vehicle is equipped with an automated fire control system, onboard control and communication equipment, providing automated high-speed reception and transmission of information, topographical navigation and orientation using GPS, and automated measurement of surface meteorological data for firing preparation. The guidance package is controlled from the cockpit, with hydraulic drives and manual backups. The time to prepare for firing is approximately 6 minutes, and the time to leave the combat position after firing is about 3 minutes. 
Reloading is conducted using a transloader vehicle equipped with a built-in elevator, allowing for reloading times between 15 to 20 minutes. Both systems exhibit a high level of automation in their operations, enhancing their effectiveness and responsiveness on the battlefield. Talking about ammunition types, the Panaka system can fire multiple types of ammunition, including high-explosive rockets for area saturation, cluster munitions to target dispersed infantry and vehicles, anti-tank mine-laying rockets to hinder armored movements, and incendiary rockets for destroying enemy supplies and infrastructure. Initially, Panaka relied on ballistic trajectories, but with the introduction of the guided Panaka, it now features an advanced inertial navigation system combined with GPS guidance. This upgrade has improved its accuracy significantly, reducing the circular error probable to less than 30 meters, making it highly effective for precision strikes against strategic enemy positions while minimizing collateral damage. On the other hand, the A100E is compatible with high-explosive fragmentation rockets, cluster munitions, and incendiary rockets, providing a versatile range of firepower for various battlefield scenarios. It excels at delivering powerful salvos over long distances, making it a formidable tool for area saturation. However, unlike the Panaka, the A100E lacks integrated guidance systems and relies solely on ballistic trajectories. As a result, its accuracy is influenced by external factors like wind and range, leading to a higher circular error probable. While effective for wide area engagement, its precision is less reliable compared to guided systems. Overall, both systems support a range of ammunition types, offering flexibility in combat operations. However, the Panaka's guided version provides a significant advantage in accuracy. Regarding mobility, the Panaka system is mounted on an 8 into 8 Tatra truck chassis, providing high mobility across various terrains. This configuration allows for rapid deployment and repositioning, essential for shoot and scoot tactics. The vehicle's design includes a robust suspension system and a powerful engine, enabling it to traverse difficult landscapes with ease. Regarding crew protection, the standard Panaka launcher vehicle offers basic armor, primarily designed to protect against small arms fire and shrapnel. On the other hand, the A100E is mounted on a Wanshan WS2408 into 8 truck chassis, similar to the Panaka, providing substantial mobility. The vehicle is equipped with a powerful diesel engine and an advanced suspension system, allowing it to navigate various terrains effectively. However, due to its larger size and weight, it may have slightly reduced agility compared to the Panaka. In terms of armor protection, its crew cabin is designed to offer protection against small arms fire and shell splinters, ensuring crew safety during operations. Both systems offer high mobility but the Panaka, being lighter, may have a slight advantage in agility and speed over the A100E. Coming to the cost, the development of the Panaka system began in 1986, with the first regiment inducted in 2000. While exact development costs are not publicly disclosed, the Indian Ministry of Defense has placed significant orders for the system. For instance, in August 2020, a contract worth approximately $350 million was signed for six Panaka regiments, including 114 launchers and associated equipment. This suggests a unit cost of approximately $3 million per launcher. The cost per rocket varies depending on the type and configuration, but estimates suggest it ranges between $6,700 to $13,400 per unit. On the other hand, the A100E's development costs are not publicly available. However, export contracts provide some insight into unit costs. For example, in 2008, Pakistan reportedly acquired 36 A100E launchers for approximately $300 million, indicating a unit cost of about $8.3 million per launcher. The cost per rocket is estimated to be around $100,000, though exact figures can vary based on configurations and contracts. The Indian Army has inducted multiple regiments of the Panaka system, with each regiment comprising several launchers. As of recent reports, six additional Panaka regiments were ordered, including 114 launchers, indicating a significant number of units in service. The Panaka systems are primarily deployed along India's borders, notably in regions like Jammu and Kashmir and the northeastern states, to provide artillery support and enhance defensive capabilities. In 2022, India secured its first export order for the Panaka system from Armenia, marking a milestone in its defense exports. On the other hand, the A100E system's exact production numbers are not publicly disclosed. Pakistan's acquisition includes multiple units to bolster its long-range artillery capabilities. These systems are deployed along Pakistan's borders, particularly in areas requiring enhanced firepower. There are no public records indicating further exports of the A100E system to other countries. In summary, both the systems represent the artillery strengths of India and Pakistan, showcasing distinct design philosophies and operational roles. Both are integral to their nation's defense strategies, deployed to strengthen border security and provide rapid artillery support. Which system do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.